This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we'll be talking about some new HTML5 form attributes. Now for this lesson, I'm just going to go through this page here. Dive into html5.info slash forms.html. It is, in my opinion, by far the best guide on forms, and especially the new features in forms in HTML5. Now I have a number of tabs open, but each one of these tabs is simply a different part of this same page. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll get to all of the different parts of the page that I'll be talking about. Now the new form attributes I'll be talking about all have to do with the input tag. So if I open up a new document here, we're ultimately talking about this guy right here. And the changes all come in what goes inside of type. Type equals what? Now before we had type equals text. We had a couple others, which are all listed right here. Checkbox, radio, password, file, submit, text. So we've seen all of these before. What are the new pieces? Well, first off, now we have type equals email. What this means is that when the browser renders the input element, it's going to know that the input type is supposed to be email. Now, why is that important? There are actually a couple of reasons. First of all, form validation now can happen in the browser for browsers that support HTML5 forms. But in addition, if you're on an iPhone and you click inside of one of these input boxes, you'll notice that a special keyboard comes up. Normally a keyboard comes up without the at sign and the dot sign. But if you have type equals email set, then the browser will know to bring up a special kind of keyboard for you to type in email addresses. If you scroll down a bit further, you get to web addresses. You can say input type equals URL. Same thing. It gives you a dot, a slash, and a dot com. We can continue on and say type equals number. In addition to type equals number, we can give it these other attributes, min, max, step, and value. Min is the minimum that the number will be. Max is the maximum. Step allows you to define a stepwise incrementing or decrementing of the box. And value gives it a starting value. You can actually click here and find a live example. And if you go to it on a web browser like Chrome, which I'm in right now, you'll have a very different experience than if you go to it with mobile Safari on the iPhone. Here I can click on the little up and down buttons and it'll change the number for me. On the iPhone, you'll probably get that sleek wheel thing. I'll go back and we'll move on. We also have numbers as sliders. You can say type equals range and you have the same options here. And if you click here and then you can click and drag this, you'll notice how that works. We also have date pickers. Now date pickers support is sparse, but on some browsers it works pretty well, especially iOS. You can see all of the new input types. We have date, date time, date time local, month, week, and time. That allows us to ask the user for any date, any date and time, a month, just a week, or a time without the date. Now these new attributes are all well and good, but what happens in a browser that doesn't support them? As it turns out, older browsers just ignore the new type element altogether and just render it as type equals text. So that's perfect. We have a perfect fallback. So let's go ahead and move on. And we have type equals search. Now type equals search in any of Apple's products will give you this nice, pretty, rounded corner visual feedback. This indicates that it's a search bar. Other browsers might just render it just like normal. There's one other additional feature. In a lot of browsers, if you start typing, you get the little X button, and that's pretty cool. There are a few other types of text inputs. They include password, tel for telephone numbers, and regex. With the password, it'll display the asterisks instead of the characters, just like a password field should. With tel, you can specify a telephone number and it should bring up a numeric keypad. And with regex, you can create your own regular expression, which will limit the input when the form tries to validate. Let's move on, and we also have color pickers. 
Now, color pickers are not very well supported at all. Opera 11 supports type equals color, and they pop up a color picker. That's pretty cool. But on most browsers, it doesn't work very well. So this one, we've got a little way to go. So that concludes this lesson. Take a look at dive into html5.info slash forms.html. It's a really, really great resource, and it's updated fairly regularly.